After logging into evolution.voxio.com, um, I arrive at the overview page. And in here, I will click uh, Application Manager, which allows me to add a new application uh, on our hosting site, which ultimately will allow me to add a new uh, phone number for my application. So I will give this application a name. I will call it uh, Demo. And uh, since we want this to be a voice and a text application, I will select both here. I will select a platform in which to run this, uh, Premium ASR and TTS, uh, and ultimately provide the URL that points to the server that um, I have available here. So let me just configure this for my voice application as well as for my SMS application. I do want a phone number so I can test, so let me pick one of these. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll pick a Orlando-based phone number, 321. So I can select this. This is a free service that we have for developers and for customers that want to you know, build and evaluate applications. So I will just go ahead and create that application, which will ultimately provide a phone number for me. It will take a couple of minutes to propagate through our network. So even though I already see the phone number that I will have, 321-239-1510, I will go ahead and first show you the demo of this application as a web application. Uh, remember, this is what I promised you earlier. Now, I can I have two ways to um, demo a web application. I can use the built-in uh, phone simulators. Let me go ahead and do that. We'll start the session, and it will come with a simulated phone screen. And as you can see here, we have our headline, welcome. Please provide your account number. We have the placeholder here, so I can type in my number, hit OK. And I arrive at the main menu. You will see we forgot to configure icons for the second and third item. So if I select one of these, we will arrive at our under construction step. So this is very basic, of course. So now you could go ahead and add some cascading style sheets, um, add a jQuery mobile theme roller, roller, because this is what we essentially use as a framework, uh, jQuery mobile underneath. Um, but you get the idea. So this is a fully functional mobile web app that we build using our uh, graphical drag and drop environment here. The second way I can test my application is through the use of one of the simulators that come with the respective operating systems. So for instance, on my laptop I have um, the iOS simulator so that I can test my application and demonstrate my application through um, a simulation of the iPhone. So let me go to Safari and actually enter the URL that uh, points to uh, my particular server here, my particular application. And um, by doing that, I will see the first page. So welcome, please provide your account number. Now before actually doing this, um, let me add this application to my home screen so that it appears as an actual uh, uh, native application almost. So I will have an icon on my home screen and if I launch it from here, um, it will come up without the URL bar, without the navigation bar, so I can pretty much interact with it, with this as if it was an actual native application. So here's my main menu. I can enter the options, etc. So it works pretty well. Um, also, keep in mind that we also offer a QR code down here. So if you have a phone, um, you can essentially take a picture of this and. Uh, if the phone is in the same network as your computer, you can then try this application on your real phone. 